Okay, it's the first time I've done a YouTube on my grass. And I'm in northern Arizona. And typically this is not where you grow grass at all. This is tall fescue grass. I have some St. Augustine there, a patch that I had to put in uh, a little bit of 30 square feet of sod. But this is my backyard and I could point the camera above the wall so you could see this is typically growing anywhere for miles and miles and miles. This is in the northern desert in Kingman, in case you're curious. And so this is the typical vegetation that you get in this part of Arizona. No one in Kingman has grass growing like this on their yard. I'm certain of that. There's the backyard. This, this is from about growth since uh, end of May of this year. Has rose bushes growing too. And a geranium there. That's been a real challenge to try to grow that in a winter desert, winter desert, and a summer desert. Average temperature is 100, 102, 103. So how could I do this while well, I was just watering like crazy, probably three times a day? every 10 minutes, 10 minute uh, segments, running four zones. Got these water hoses all over the place. I had to pick them up so I could cut my grass. It's probably the last cut that I'm gonna do before winter sets in. Um, the, brown, the brown spots that you see over there, well, that's crabgrass and it's dying off. But I'm not going to uh, apply any or any uh, pre-emergent till May next year, since it's, I'll let it wait for its one-year growth from the new seeds that were put in. This one is just slow and stubborn, so I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. It's got a lot of blossoms on this rose bush about eight or nine and there's about another seven or eight that are trying to uh, grow out. I put extra nitrogen down there. It's pretty geranium there, red one. I just got through doing my cut. I try to keep the cut at about four inches. What am I using for fertilizer? PGF Complete. And um, then I use uh, Humic acid laid that down. I laid down a mushroom compost and humic acid uh, before I even put down seed. I laid down a lot of seed, and I did, like I said before, I did a lot of watering on this. Watering is being tapered off now. What was my water bill? <laughs> I don't know if you want to know. Well, it was running me. I thought it was high when it was about $150 a month, and then it went up to like $280. But I, I'm backing off now because, well, the uh, growth is slowing down. Wind's picking up too. And I lay down this sod right here. I don't know if I laid it down evenly enough. But anyway, I'll do the best I can do with it but I had problems with growth right in that area. I don't know if it was from contractors coming in when I moved in a couple of years ago or not. And 
anyway, you can see, you know, some of the greens starting to go away. It's just, the growth is slowing down. But I'll still try to keep up a little bit of a watering cycle still. I'll put the sprinklers back out. And the real exciting news is the front yard. This is just from one month growth. Literally, this was dirt just one month ago. So anyway, the PGF Complete Fertilizer just did miraculous things to this lawn. Like I said, just, just from 30 days from bare dirt and rock. I mean, yeah, well, anyway, I got rid of the rock. So that was another large affair to do. But this just turned out really spectacular. This is my uh, second cut that I've done on this grass since I just seeded it. And it's really looking amazing. This side's not growing quite as fast. And then we got a kind of a downhill slope here. A little dirt there. Not good. Looks like we got a gopher maybe. So anyway. This is a bit of a challenge because you got a downward slope, so it's hard to get the grass growing down here. But overall, I'm very pleased with the progress. And as you can see from when you go behind the back wall, you see what I'm up against as far as the challenge is concerned. But anyway. I was quite pleased with the way this grass has really grown and taken off on me. I'm going to have to integrate tall fescue in with that uh, yellowish brown sod. That will be a challenge. But I need to introduce other species of seedlings in there uh, so it will blend together by next year. Hopefully it will. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just something I've never done before on YouTube, and I just wanted to post my findings with you and leave any comments or suggestions. Uh, or if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Don Cree signing off. Bye.